Hey everyone, it is day three of our egg fast. What am I gonna cook today to round off our three day egg fast? You guys come back and I'll share. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. It is day three of our three day egg fast. Yes, it is. I've got some things I wanna make just to round off the day, but today is my Tai Chi class. I did not go last week because I had that upper respiratory virus, cold, summer cold, whatever we wanna call it. But they got new mats and I have, can't wear shoes on the new mats, so I have to take socks. So I'm wearing my flip flops. I did not. Uh, go and work out this morning. Uh, my trainer had to cancel. She had some issues she had to take care of. So I'm going Thursday for that. Plus, I'm getting back into the swing of things from last week and I still have a little bit of a congestion still. If you guys hear me sniffing, I apologize, but I'm over it. I feel okay. I still just have the sniffles and a little bit of uh, drainage. Yeah. Sorry, TMI, TMI. But you guys, I'm going in a fasted state. I had my coffee. Someone asked, what do I use in my coffee these days? I use my uh, now brand English toffee stevia, the liquid. Let me share. And I use uh, Anthony's powdered butter. So let me, let me share those two things. This is my premium powdered butter and this is my now brand stevia and both have gone up. We used to get this for six bucks. It's like almost nine bucks now. It's crazy. Anthony's, we used to get a way less and now it's expensive. Thank you for everybody for telling me about it because I went and bought two, two bags. As Soon as I'm down to one bag, I'm gonna order another one because it's crazy. And I keep it in an extra bag just in case water, since it's so close to the sink, in case it gets splashed or something. But that's what Harry and I both use. We like the powdered butter better than uh, heavy whipping cream. We just like the flavor better. It gives you that delicious flavor, plus you're getting butter. So basically, that's what I am doing currently. Things may change, but that's what I'm doing. Um, you guys, I've got something in mind to eat, but first I have to go to Tai Chi. When I'm done, I need to go, uh, Harry and Sally wanna go for a quick little ride. We're gonna go to Felicia's house. She's got some packages that were delivered. They've got Felicia and Brad have a new knee, uh, nephew. Leo, he was born, and um, so they're gonna fly to California to help his sister out for a couple days. So I'm gonna go pick up some packages she got dropped off. Then we're gonna come back, and we are gonna break our fast with our egg fast diet. And I know what I'm making. Are you guys doing the egg fast diet? What are you guys cooking today? on your egg fast diet. Anyway, you guys, I will share for sure. Um, so I'm going on a fasted state and when we come back, we'll break our fast with something delicious, but it's gonna be eggs, that's for sure. You guys, I'm making chaffles. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. Eggs plus cheese is chaffles. Somebody gonna make me. I just, I am making enough that have, here, come look at my eggs. Two, four, six, eight eggs. Whoa, dude. That should give us each Four. Four, if it, if it comes out right. I am using two ounces of cream cheese. Because I love cream mm -hmm. cheese in this. So I'm gonna nuke this real quick, just get it soft, because I did not take it out. It's too hot here in Arizona to leave stuff like this out for very long. Isn't it, Harry? Yeah. Hey, I got a question. What? I'm gonna ask. Okay, you ask. So, I've been away from like certain kinds of cheeses for a while because we were looking to see if I had a problem with them. Dairy, I think I do. Because I've noticed I'm not having any problems since we're not eating that kind of cheese anymore. Well, we're eating this cheese. Which kind is this? You mean the aged cheese that we were eating? This is non, it's not very aged. We're eating Tillamook mozzarella. Also, I bought you probiotics, pancreatic probiotics, right. because the two enzymes that you're missing um, break down fat and proteins according to your sensitivity check. So I bought probiotic enzymes, tryptosin and crimotripsin. 
these right here, if you look at that, those are the two that showed up as him being lacking. Yeah. And I give him these, and it oh. does, hasn't bothered your stomach at all. No. So I'm giving that's him these. And that was based on the sensitivity test, you guys. Yeah, I figured it's so not going to hurt, and it might help. So I've got the cheese. The cream cheese is going in here. It's going in. It's how going much, in. How much cream cheese is that, Whitney? It's two ounces, Harry. Just trying to help out the folks. Well, I told him earlier, but then you you asked, you talked about the other. Your, um, oh, here it is. I'm going, wait a minute. I'm going to put my cream cheese away. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Just a sprinkle of cinnamon because I love cinnamon. I'm going to add a little bit of this delicious vanilla by Bluegrass Girl Goes Keto that she sent to me. She sent me homemade vanilla extract. So I'm just going to plop a little bit of this in here for flavor. Just a little bit. I love the vanilla taste. And then I'm going to add some of my sweetener today, which is my Better Stevia English Toffee. Well, I don't get to add very much of it because it's... Got any more? Yes, I do. But this one is done. It's done. Dead soldier. Dead soldier. And I am going to whip this. So come on. You know what? I think I need to, because this wasn't, uh, uh, I need to uh, bl blend this with the emulsion blender. Stick blender. Because it was still too uh, somebody cold. Asked, somebody asked what kind you got there. Okay. It, this one is a Calphalon. Um, Ace Cool has a really cool one. It's a uh, five in one and it's a really good price and it's on Amazon. I like Ace Cool products. Chalice stole my Ace Cool five in one yep, blender she from it, me. Man. She grabbed it. Yes, she did. There you go. There you have it. And that just works so nice. Now, normally, I would use keto chow, a bag of keto chow well, in normally here. Normally you would, right? But we can't have that right. in here today because we are making the um, older version, the egg white, I mean the eggs and some mozzarella cheese. So, here we go. Is this on? Was this on? It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Huh. And you guys, how do I clean my waffle maker out after I made sardine? Very carefully. Fish cakes. I just turn it on its side. I spray it with water vinegar mixture. Let it set up. Scrub it with a brush. Then use a little bit of soapy water. Scrub that off and then spray it again and just let it sit. And it smells fine. We don't smell any fish right now as it's heating up. Do we, Harry? Nope. Let me put these back in here. Into my cupboard. Yeah, she sets it on its side right over the... Uh, I set it on a uh, towel, towel on its side and let it do its thing. Well, this feels hot. It's not green. I know. We got to wait for the... Oh, oh it just goes. went green. It's I was going to say. So, you guys, I'm putting just a little bit of mozzarella cheese. This is an eight ounce container. Old fashioned. I'm doing the old fashioned way. And then I'm taking my big spoon and giving everybody a spoonful. Yeah, see this stuff's a lot. Runnier than it's a lot runnier. I'm just going to put a little bit in. Sardine ones, you know, they were pretty thick. These are a lot. Well, these are th not as thick as my regular ones that I make all the time either with uh, keto chow. I just love those the best, but yeah, but we can't we have, can't have, have those today. So we can have those another time. The good news is this way works good too. So, 
And you just let it heat. Sally said, Mom, you said cheese. <laughs> and we are going to let these cook until they're done. And we're going to have truffles now. The sweetener today, besides the, um, oh, Sally, look at this. Ooh. More. Yeah, come on over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she likes that. All right. We are using the old, the old Walden's pancake syrup, not the one with stevia, but the one with sucralose. We love it. It works for us. We've tested it with our glucose, and we don't have any issues with it. And is it the best in the West as far as clean? No, it isn't. But you know what? Uh-oh, there comes the eggs. Here they come. Here they come. There goes the steam. Look. That's coming out this side. Look. Oops. Wow, that little bit um, you put in there. Look at this over here. I can't because it's all steamed oh, here. up. Go over here. Look. Oh, oh wow. this side. Whoa, this side's running. Uh-oh. Oh, man, you should have put it underneath because that's where it's I going. I did. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at this side. I know, man. Just Yeah, just cut them off. You can eat. I know. It's the cheese. Yeah. Look at this. It's the cheese. It's the cheese. It's the mozzarella. Look, it's the mozzarella cheese coming off. Yeah. Oh, wow, huh? I'm going to taste it. Yeah, no kidding. Waste not, want not. I say. Ooh, that's a new food. We should just melt this. And that's really good. Yeah. Want to taste? Yeah. It'll burn you. Let me have it. Mm-hmm. Here. Good. Here's another one. Yeah. Mm. -hmm. Mm. That is very The cheese cooked the little bit of dough that was left on it. Yeah, so you get that it, little flavor. You got it. that little bit of good sweet flavor. Mm-hmm. I'm excited now. That's really good. It's weird that the cheese came out like that, though. Melted like that? Yeah. I think because they're bigger pieces of, I got the, the farm style thick cut. No. Yeah. Instead of the thinner cut. Yeah, so it just kind of melted real so fast. So it just oozed everywhere. everywhere. Give me room, give me room. Yep. You know, yeah. Until it got encapsulated in the Something egg delicious. Stuff. Guys, I did Tai Chi. We worked for about a half an hour instead of an hour. Um, I'm still a little bit, like I said, breathing issues with that upper respiratory infection. But I felt good about it. I felt really good about it. And it's over 110. Let me see how hot it is today. Hold your ears, everybody, because I'm going to say the word. How hot is it today? Today, expect a high of 170 degrees Fahrenheit. How hot is it here right now? Today, expect a high of 170 It says 107, but I bet you it's 110. It feels like it all Well, it gets outside. its stuff from the airport. Yeah, I know it does. Look at this. It's still steaming, the you guys. It's always about three or four degrees cooler than out here. What brand do you guys buy? Everything is so expensive, and I never really cared for chalk zero that much it didn't have a lot of flavor but i have a test taste tester my taster isn't as good so i need something stronger in flavor there's nothing wrong with chalk zero i think it's a great product however it's very mild and i can barely taste it as maple syrup now they could have changed it but let me know what you guys put on your chaffles as far as a sweet 
is concerned. Do you guys use maple syrup? If so, what brand? I can't use anything with aspartame in it, so I can't use like the Smuckers or any of that that's in the store. Um, but other than that, and now I found out acefolamine uh, potassium I can't use. I'm supposed to be very high allergic to that. This one is... Would you put some on the ground? Because I don't see it on the ground. Well, don't tell her that... Oh, Harry. You're incorrigible. Nah. Yes, you are. That's hot, Sally. Trust me. It's very hot. I'll share here. Let's share this, what it looks like with everybody because it's absolutely beautiful. You guys. Can I wait till you get the other ones out? Don't you want to eat these while they're hot? Yeah, those the only way you can eat them is by sharing. You guys, these are our chaffles. We're each going to have at least four. I'm excited. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment, but we've got to eat now. Yes, indeed. Mmm. Oh, so good. Hey, everybody, it's almost 6 p.m., and we've only each had four eggs a piece and our cheese for the day and our chaffles, but man, those were filling. So what we're going to just do tonight is we're just going to fry up three eggs a piece, and we are going to have them on top of toast. Yes, we are. So come on over here. Someone asked me who's new, um, what do I use to store my bread in? And I use a little bread container or I use my cake one that's like this. Sometimes my bread is so tall that it doesn't even fit in this. Yeah. And actually it's that way right now. Um, the height of this, I kind of had to push it down a little bit. I always put it on a piece of paper towel, kind of fold it. See how nice this is? It stays so nice. And then I just um, cover the top and uh, it stays really nice. I don't have to worry about it at all. But And then I do have a bread slicer. The thing with that is, is I'm not slicing all my bread at once. So to clean it and everything, I'd rather just slice off one or two slices right now but if I want to slice several I'll use my bread slicer because it evenly slices very nicely keeps it uh, from um, we call it turning fast that way you know keeps it from oh you mean it doesn't get moldy or anything yeah, this way yeah fast. it doesn't get hard or anything by just keeping it in a loaf at least as far as I'm concerned yeah we just cut off what we need yeah that's all we do we just cut it off and it stays so nice and moist and purdy it's a smile it's purdy yes it is so then I just take this and put it back in my bread container I thought you were going to throw the bread away there for no. me. No. I have to think when I'm talking is the problem, uh -oh. right? Yeah, walking and chewing gum. Yeah, that's right. That's it. We don't allow her to do that. And then I just have it in my bread container. I'm going to pop that down once I get my eggs started, you guys. And do you want four eggs or do you want uh, three eggs? I'm three's, having three. Three, you fine. can have four if you want. It's three's up to you. Fine. Right now. Oh, you guys, this is day three of our egg fast. I think we should weigh in tomorrow just to see what the difference is between the end of the sardine fast and this. What do you think? I, I don't know. I like doing it once a week, you know. Okay, so you want to stay till Friday? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll stay till Friday then. Oh, tomorrow we have to be up and he has to be to his uh, decompression session at uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow. And then I need to make some uh, changes to his... Uh, future ones because we are going to Tombstone. We made reservations uh, for the 8th, 9th, and 10th, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And Monday we're coming home, and that one I've got to change tomorrow, Harry. So remind me to get my schedule, get the schedule changed on that. And then I think you're pretty well done. Yeah. Second week of July. Um, you've got your um, MRI the first week of July. I know, it's crazy. You'll be healed by the time we get to know what's wrong with your back. 
that's insurance for you. They can't book it until the insurance, so like they don't even want to talk to you until it's approved. Even if the doctor does uh, ASAP stat, got to have this stat type of thing. I don't know. Well, unless you want to pay for it out of pocket. Yes, unless you want to do that, and I don't have the money to pay out of pocket and try to get reimbursed by insurance, so that's why we're waiting. Otherwise, uh, his heart specialist says if this happens again with his BP, he said go to ER because you'll get tested right away instead of having to wait for your insurance to approve the tests we want to do on you, which makes sense to me. It does. I don't know about you guys, but our ERs are so full here in Arizona. It's just like the people go there instead of urgent care, and it drives you nuts. Because they're going for colds and flu, and it's usually the people that don't have insurance. And Our state is one of those states where they can go without insurance and get medical treatment, and I think that's the whole issue. So... It is what it is. Yep. Oops, that one broke. That one's yours. That's fine. I'll taste the same to me. Sure you don't want four? It's up to you. I want to make sure you have enough protein today that you're not going to be hungry later tonight because we stay up so late. I'm going to do one more. Just to make sure, Harry. The egg fast just seems to, um, you know, aren't as hungry on it as, a, as the sardine fast, I think. Oh, yeah. I think these are more satiating. I think eggs are more satiating for you. Yeah, but I don't know if I do as well on them as I did the, uh, the sardine one. Because you're eating more, you think? Or, well, because you're eating uh, dairy. Yeah, I know. I think it really affects me. I do too. It says so on your sensitivity. So it should be pretty easy, pretty simple. So how hot is it? Oh, she hasn't changed her mind. I still think she's crazy. I think it's hotter today. It just feels so hot. We, we got in the car and went to um, go do Felicia's mail and bring in her packages and check on the house for her because they do the same for us. And uh, it was hecka hot out there. Mm -hmm. Hecka hot. Yes, indeed it is. I just kept my uh, Tai Chi. I didn't work out at the gym, so I really didn't break out on a sweat or anything. So take my shower tonight. But uh, this is one of that, this is that little Timu little top that I got for under five bucks. And uh, I've got my Yvette sports bra and Yvette pants on with it. And uh, very happy. It's perfect. All that I need. So anyway, tomorrow is a carnivore keto day and I have to decide, am I gonna do anything special for the last three days? Is it three days? Three days. There's three days. Can I do something else? Oh, for the or should we, plan. yeah. What should we do? What should we do? Gotta think about it. Maybe I gotta sleep on it. Maybe I'll get an epiphany and decide on doing another three day. These three day challenges have been fun, actually. Yeah, they have. I kind of. You know, I've kind of enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed doing the uh, egg fast, pulling out my old egg fast that we used to do, and looking through some of the recipes from some of the old egg fast days. You know, um, one of the things that I didn't make. Uh, was uh, egg loaf. That was one of the things. Egg crepes, egg loaf. When we didn't have uh, or didn't use the egg white protein powder and get actual bread out of the deal, we were doing more cloud breads, you know, the Atkins original cloud bread and, and the actual breads that Dr. Atkins created way back when, like in the 70s kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Right, Harry? Yep. So, uh, the styrofoam bread. Well, and that, well, the cloud bread you really didn't care for either. No. Nope. That was well, just it was like a styro puffy. It was like styrofoam. Yeah. Well, it wasn't even that it was styrofoam. It yeah, just didn't it was, really have yeah. any flavor. It was just a holder, a placeholder to your food. 
where my bread, at least I feel, my bread is delicious and gives us the most flavor. It's nice to be able to have a sandwich. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it. Good. I wanted to have a scrambled egg sandwich with Manny's. So good. Mmm. You had it yesterday. I did not have Open a... Open face. I did not. That was deviled egg, which was different than just scrambled eggs and mayonnaise in toast. I loved oh, those. When I was sick, my mom would make those for me, and I absolutely make loved them. Make some more bread tomorrow, and we'll do it again. Got a few pieces in there. Yeah, you unless can still you decide have egg to have sandwich one. Sandwich when you're not on an egg diet. Yes, you can. You're absolutely right. You can have sardines and not be on a sardine diet. Yes. Right. Yes, indeed. Okay, let me get this. You're so smart, Harry. Uh, that's a problem. <laughs> that you're so smart. Yeah, I'm just so smart. That's right. That's right. It is a problem. And my mom would laugh if I said that. Yeah, you mean smart ass, don't you? Oh, your mom would? Oh, yeah. My mother had a way with words. <laughs> your mom didn't mince words. Nope. Not at all. Nope. Not at all. Virginia did not. Okay, here we go. Let's get some good, let's have some hickory salt on this. That sounds good to me. Yeah, get your salt while you can. I wonder if, it, we haven't checked. What? If they still have If they can it. still get it? I don't I know. To buy one. Yeah, have you guys gone to Redmond Real Salt lately to see if, if they still have the big bags? Let me know because I haven't gone since I placed my last order. And I want to know so people can know to run, don't walk. Get the big bag, 15% off. Save it. Save your little jars and refill them. Yes, indeed. Refill them. Refill. Okay, here we go. There you have it. That's our dinner, you guys. Someone asked, how often are we eating on the egg fast? How many meals are you eating? How far apart? Well, we're not doing an egg fast that says you have to eat every so many hours. As a matter right. of fact, you can intermittent fast on our egg fast as long as you are eating at least six eggs and a tablespoon of fat with that per egg. It's supposed to be, although I'm having a hard time with that, you can optim my, your egg fast by adding four ounces uh, up to four ounces of cheese per day but you don't have to I say eat to satiety but make sure you are eating at least six eggs but if you want to eat a dozen eggs go for it if that if you are hungry eat that's, that's all I can rule. say this hungry. the egg fast that I have that was from the original way back when we started egg fasting in 2019 are the rules that I have. Although I have mine dated 2023 because I'm adding the egg white protein bread on this fast for Harry and I. You can do for you. There are so many egg fasts out there, but I do not feel you need to cram eggs down your throat just to have eggs every couple of hours, including butter. I think you should eat intuitively just like you do on the keto, ketogenic lifestyle or carnivore lifestyle. If you want to eat because you are hungry, sit down and eat some eggs with some butter on them. Have a slice of cheese if you want or not. But that's how I feel about eating the egg fast diet. I don't think you have to eat every so many hours in order to do an egg fast or a sardine fast or a beef broth fast or intermittent fasting either. I think you need to work with your body and how you feel and what you want to eat. So I hope that answers that question because I have never been on an egg fast where you had to eat so much so many eggs every so many hours I've only been on the one where you're supposed to have one egg and one tablespoon of good healthy fats such as butter or mayo or tallow or lard or bacon grease you know or MCT oil now we have also done a beef fast before too where you had it was like a cup of 
beef one meal and then a cup of beef the second meal and you had two meals a day I believe it was I can't remember exactly but you guys can go find it on our um, back history uh, videos but the egg fast that we are doing don't eat if you're not hungry just wait a while then eat later when you are hungry and that is my number five don't get too hungry because you can always eat an egg with fat is what I say fit the egg fast to your eating schedule intermittent fasting is just fine cheese is optional and not counted toward daily fats the maximum allowed amount of cheese per day is four ounces you need to eat a minimum of six eggs but try to eat at least nine eggs daily or you will not be getting enough protein basically add add some sweetener if you want to or not that's up to you if you want to put eggs in your coffee that's up to you butter and coffee and eggs you know you can set this up for success for the way you feel what you like to eat adding the eggs and the fats I just wanted to reiterate that but Harry and I need to eat our dinner now yes indeed I've got to clean my Cuisinart waffle maker. I got to put away the toaster, clean up, put dishes away, and all those good things. So you guys, let's see what tomorrow brings, shall we? Think about it. Let's decide what we're going to do for another three days, shall we? Anyway, you guys, how many of you guys finished the egg fast? You did it for three days, and what were your results? Please let us know down in the description below. Hey, if you have not done so already, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Sally just finished her eggs. Yeah. Good girl. Saying good, Saying good night. That's right. Let's see. You had this. Let me pick this up. Yeah, Put this over here. Eggies. She had eggs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's see. How about a beef and liver slider, carnivore dog style? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, I said go. Oops. Little skid out she there. Did a little skid out. She did. Power slide. She did. She did. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow, and let's see what the day brings tomorrow.